Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to Pretty Girls Mahjong Solitaire. So, maybe we'll get it finished today. Maybe. We, we have to play pretty fast here and get through stage 3 and stage 4 of Ayami. And then we'll have unlocked all of the outfits. Oh boy, the outfits. And seen all of the layouts, which... It, let's see if we can add this up. That's... 9 plus 8, 17 layouts, uh, 17 stages, uh, times 3 layouts, which gives 17, 14, 21. So we're talking almost 100 layouts of very little variety of the Psalter. Sl slightly less than a hundred definitely not not a hundred uh, that's not a lot and I recently recorded a series called Regency Solitaire which was Solitaire somewhat similar to this but with cards instead of uh, Mahjong tiles and it certainly didn't have a lot of layouts in it either but I can almost guarantee you that on that pretty short and simplistic game that had a lot more features than this uh, you got at least 120 layouts of different uh, cards being stacked up plus at least half a dozen uh, game mechanics that were unique to that game and not and helpful a little bit or sometimes not helpful but at least different uh, now Regency Solitaire was a perfect solitaire game and it didn't actually let you play just basic Klondike Solitaire which is a slight problem or basic solitaire of any kind but in comparison it had money it had upgrades it had wild cards it had assists that you could collect all things that are missing here. You don't even get assist in this game if you're not playing on easy mode, which you didn't bother to ask when you first started, which is a pretty standard way to start playing any video games these days is to get a pop-up saying, hey, do you want to play this on normal mode or easy mode? But here's the difference between the two. Here's why you might want to consider playing it on easy mode. Uh, none of that. I wouldn't have even have known there was an easy mode if I hadn't checked the options menu. I'm sure it's written in the description. And frankly, I bet there's a lot of things written in the Steam description to try to justify and make up for the things missing in the actual game. Uh, but who's to say people are even going to read those? And that doesn't fix the problem. It should be in the game. Hmm. Let's see how many matches we have. We have an incredibly large amount of matches. Uh, four. There. Let's see. This. There. This. There. Hmm. The three. There. So if I can get rid of few more piles that's not the same symbol that's not the same symbol that is hmm. get rid of this one and this and we have done nothing with the monkey king he's just here for no reason really in the whole game hmm. So silly. I I kind of wonder if Mahjong Solitaire in particular actually wouldn't work well as a cell phone game because of all the space it would take up. But I think you can work around that. You could probably do something even bigger like a jigsaw puzzle on a cell phone just by doing a lot of uh, zooming in and out and scrolling around as long as you have a moderately high resolution screen I almost messed up there um, 
See, I'm, and I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of matches. So I probably should do this again just to double check and use my abilities. Uh, I played one jigsaw puzzle game where they gave you like 20 pieces and showed you a region and then you uh, made your matches from that which certainly isn't the real way you would do jigsaw puzzles but it was a new experience and something I didn't completely hate as an idea something different I believe we have success now There we go. I think she just said success. Hmm. Here we go, match that. And this and this and that. Can't match that with that one. We've got a lot of things tiled onto each other. And typically, if it starts becoming kind of pyramid shaped, then you're going to have fewer and fewer options for every extra level. Um, in fact, if you got it all the way to a pyramid where one tile was on top, you wouldn't be able to make a match no matter what. Uh, Just continuously try to get rid of things. Hmm. And then anytime a tile is on top of two pieces, you you're expanding your possible connections. Let's see how many matches are sent in here. Hmm. I could match those two, so that makes that's pretty safe. There. Can I do anything with this two? No. Can I do anything with the six? No. Can I do anything with the three? Yes, but no. Uh, this two here. This, this, or this. No, let's shuffle. Probably a little early to shuffle, but seems like that was the right move. Let's see. get rid of that and get rid of that. Match that. Match that. With that one. The six. This wind. Can get rid of that. This one. This and that. That one and that one. Probably not gonna get that to connect. This three. There. Mm -hmm. Those two. That one. Hmm. The seven. Can I do anything with that? This two, this six, this wind, this symbol. What matches do we have? This. With this. This. With this. Hmm. And that, that one, and this two, with this one to get this with this, get rid of this, to free up two options because we're on the side there. There. If we could just get rid of this seven. Hmm. Let's see. This symbol 
I can reach by doing this. And that's a good move. So this six must be under here, this wind must be under here, this seven must be under here. I have two shuffles. I'm hoping, well, this wind actually matches right there. This seven matches right there. These two match with each other. That matches with that. Actually, then we are done. Another layout solved. Another stage is complete. Move forward. Final round. What crazy outfit? And they're not even really crazy outfits, honestly. Hmm. I I kind of would like to see if somebody's gonna make a game like this where they're selling it on pretty girls in the outfits why not just go the full route with it why not get a high fashion uh, model to put their sketches in there because there that would be more of the French style of sketching than the Japanese style certainly but you could get some high fashion models to at least assist and and show creations that would actually be way better than some very simplistic general things that probably are made to be resold in a dozen different games uh, I mean if you got some uh, like Victoria's Secret or uh, that's probably not as much high fashion as it is just uh, mid fashion but if you got some, th some of the Project Runway creators, even the people that didn't even win Project One Way, you could have could probably get them to work with you and put some crazy outfits out there. Hmm. Maybe they're too expensive. They probably are too expensive for for as much as they want to spend on creating this game. And, and I guess that's inherently the problem with a game like this is if you start saying, I want to spend the least amount of money and time and energy uh, the making this game, you're not leaving yourself open for any chance of it being a good game, really. Uh, because any creation, any art is going to take sacrifice. It's going to take effort. And you, you can't just... Nobody's... A genius. Nobody just sits down and composes Mozart. Not even Mozart. Uh, it was practice, trials, throwing out a lot of bad ideas and working on the good ideas. And low effort gets you nowhere, really. Not in video games, not in any other form of entertainment or art. Uh, but particularly for this game, yeah, if. If you're going to specifically say there's no nudity in this game, so that's not the focus, then it actually is going to start to be the focus of the clothing and the the girls. And you haven't focused on the girls at all by giving them any characterization or any backstory or having anything, any events occur. So then you're telling me, well, then the girls are just paper dolls and, and we're just playing Barbie here and dressing them up. And... If that's the case, then I kind of wish the outfits were a little bit more unique and, and interesting. Yeah, this game doesn't serve anybody is the problem. Nobody is going to be satisfied with what comes out here. Not me who came in here really wanting just to play Mahjong Solitaire. And not the... And not people that just want to look at pretty, pretty girls because then they're going to be burdened by playing the Mahjong Solitaire, which is kind of boring and not worth the effort. Uh, yeah. It's just.
just not well thought out at all. Those two pieces aren't the same. I, I, I surprise myself how I look at something like this and something like that and my brain just wants to tell me that's the same symbol when I actually like focus and pay attention to it clearly these two are completely different but since they both equally mean nothing to me since I, my brain doesn't translate this into a word and doesn't translate that into a peacock uh, I mean it just looks like a blur let's see how many matches we are missing all kinds of matches there's also the argument that can be made no I I don't understand what goes on the minds of Japanese people at all, but I know they have public baths all the time. And so they're kind of naked in front of strangers of their own genders all the time. So I don't know why this girl would all of a sudden be super embarrassed to magically be transformed into a swimsuit that, uh, that's not that revealing. And frankly, it's school swimsuit, so she would almost certainly be used to wearing and being seen in that swimsuit. That it seems like this just unlimited source of embarrassment anime girls can can summon up uh, because I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, the the weird truth is as far as dating and relationships I think it's totally messed up in Japan and uh, I think they, there needs to be some major rethinking on how, how dating works because in Japan usually after the second or third date you're practically engaged to the person uh, and that doesn't really work. They need to date more. They need to interact with uh, people that they are potentially going to marry a lot more. They need to, in groups and casual situations, have a lot more interactions and, and be bolder. And they need to have more money and time to be able to do those things. Uh, also, in a lot of ways, they need to not play too many anime games and focus on the 2D fake people because that's not going to help Japan have a next generation and it's dangerously hopeless for the next generation of Japan because you can't you, there isn't a lot of opportunity to get anywhere in a career in Japan and there isn't a lot of jobs that pay well enough to have a family in Japan. And so they don't start, they're not starting families and the entire population is just staying consistent of the people that are getting older and sicker and need more medical help. And that's no way to have a society, to not have a youth at all. At a certain point, you're leaving yourself open to invasion if you don't have a youth that could be at the very least drafted into a military or uh, or could volunteer uh, or even if you don't get invaded you're leaving yourself open to the very possibility that there will be so few people left in the entire country that it will just get consumed by its neighbors which by the way Japan is tiny compared to China and China loves to consume more and more territory to fill its needs of its ever-growing population uh, so that is a constant threat and it's really the 
civic duty, I would say, of every Japanese person and their society to create a way for it to happen, for them to breed and have children and continue their own traditions and their their own uh, lifestyle and their own society. Otherwise, we will lose all of their history. We will lose all of their uh, all of their their art, all of their creativity, all the things they will create, all the things they have created, it almost certainly will disappear through the sands of time. And that's something in the video game industry we don't really want to have happen because a, a good percentage, maybe a third of all games are from Japanese companies. If Japanese companies just decide they're not making video games anymore or they can't make video games anymore that hurts the entire video game industry uh, and a lot of their arts and entertainment uh, influence Western companies and that influence would disappear certainly and that would kind of suck because Japan since it was an isolation for a very long time, they created entire myths and stories and they are very different from what European countries, for example, are. Like, Grimm's fairy tales are, traveled across Europe and they got changed a little bit and, and they got added on too. So, it's kind of the same stories, even if there's a slightly different tale that flooded those areas. Uh, so we became more monogamous, more of the same. Uh, no, not monogamous, I mean homogeneous. Uh, we became more of the same in the European areas and the Western world in general, and now we just don't think differently. We all think the same, we all have the same ideas when it comes to a lot of creative artworks and that's why we get Cinderella told half a dozen times or uh, and nobody's gonna think of something like Oedipus Rex from thousands of years ago that was from that region because we've just aren't in that mindset and I wouldn't be surprised at some point if China itself does come out of its own kind of semi isolation and they do have a lot of interesting more tales like the romance of the 12 kingdom tales a story and that become that eventually comes out to the rest of the world and and we get to enjoy art and creativity from that perspective. That's certainly why I love to watch uh, foreign films and foreign TV because they can often do something different and I've seen Western American TV. British TV is a little bit different but it's still practically the same ideas uh, over and over again. Uh, but when you start looking at some of the South Korean TV film, TV shows and films, they will do what we would consider crazy things, and they'll mix horror genre with romance genres with comedy genres, all in the same movie, and it's just this wild ride of seeing something you've never, like, nobody would ever dare to do it because we're playing it safe. In, in America and TV uh, we have to think of the advertising and get the biggest impact possible come on now one more here I don't want to lose my matches I well, also don't want to lose the game this wind has to be under here this, though, allows that. And this four gets rid of that. 
this gets rid of that, and this gets rid of this, and this gets rid of that. And again, I'm spending more time talking about J Japan than I am talking about China for the Chinese New Year. It kind of sucks, but this is if this happens, if I just do a special series next year, it's probably going to be the same. Unless I can find something a little bit better, uh, I'll, I'll try to struggle for it. Seems like we're going to get a cat girl for this final, uh, final stage. And we're done with this recording. But yeah, next year maybe you can put comments down if you know some Chinese games made by Chi or games made by Chinese people, games more focused around Chinese myths uh, and uh, games that would help prompt me to talk or learn more about China instead of China uh, instead of Japan for Chinese New Year. That would certainly help. But what can I say? Uh, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me further, go to my main YouTube page. On the right, there's a button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.